Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. Now in this tutorial we want to look at how you can create a table of contents in Excel like the one on screen at the moment where each uh, item in that table of contents is a hyperlink to the relevant sheet of the workbook. We want to create this automatically with the click of a button uh, to generate that table of contents. So what we're going to do, this macro is already set up, we're going to have a look at the code and we're going to walk our way through explaining each part of it. This code is available from the link in the comments, uh, sorry not the comments, in the, uh, the kind of description area of this video. Please feel free to follow that link where there's further explanation and the code itself that you can quite happily copy and paste into your files and tweak if necessary but it should be generic enough to work. Okay, I'm going to go to um, the View tab and I'm going to go for the top half of this Macros button to view the macros available here. And I can see my Create Talk Macro available in this file. And I'm going to click Edit to take me to the editor so I can look at this code. The keyboard shortcut of Alt and F11 will do the same for you here. And I can see I've got this Create Talk module on the left. If you don't have a module, you can insert one from the menu above. And it's just a case then of putting in this code, which I say is available from the uh, description area of this video. This is what we have. We have this sub procedure to create a table of contents uh, with a variable and a constant. If you are new to this stuff, just paste it in. It should work fine. Uh, if not, Please check out some of the other tutorials here or Google some others. Learning VBA is a massive skill uh, in Excel, really get you going. But we have a variable of byte, so 0 to 256 characters, and a constant known as sheet name, which is storing that string for us to use. Turned off screen updating and display alerts, so that we don't see the flicker of the screen as it loops between the sheets. And then the first thing we've done is check if a sheet called table of contents already exists, which in this file one does. And if it does, it's going to remove it. And it will then go and add in a fresh one. So, yeah, there are other ways we could have handled this, but it's going to add in a fresh one before the first sheet. So it will be the first sheet of the file. It's then going to come into it, starting from cell range B2 on that sheet, do some formatting to some text after displaying the name of the sheet, pot to B4 and it's going to start a loop. So I is a variable which is going to start with two, so it's going to start from the second sheet. The first sheet is the table of contents sheet and it's going to do something from the second sheet all the way to the last sheet of this file. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a hyperlink. And that hyperlink is going to link to an address which has been created with this concatenated area. Name of the sheet currently in play, the variable there to loop through them. Name of the sheet concatenated with cell A1. Exclamation mark after the sheet name there, A1. And it's going to display... Um, the number, number of the sheet, uh, minus one because it's at the second sheet and I want this to say number one. I want to get this concatenating the name of that sheet. So it would say, for example, one point Zurich. I can't remember what the first sheet is, let's pretend it's Zurich. Uh, it's going to move two cells below, jump two cells, loop back round. Third sheet, you know, put in the name, two point name, two cells below. Next sheet. It's going to continue until it's run out of sheets. It's then going to select the range. So cells B4, the first cell, ensured that there, down to the last cell, active cell dot row, the cell you're currently in. And it's going to remove the underline from the hyperlinks. Completely optional that you may like the underline. I've decided to turn mine off, set it to style none. And then we reset the screen update and display alerts. So as a quick run through what the different sections code does 
So you might be happy with editing it to your preference or as an understanding of what's going on here. If I close this editor down, back to a window, um, if I run this macro, I'm going to quickly add a button in. I'm going to add one to the toolbar here. Drop down arrow more commands. Let's navigate to macros. And I'm going to add my button across. And use modify to edit it a bit. Uh, what should I go for? Let's have a, a pin. It says nothing about creating table of contents really. Uh, create. Talk. Click OK. You can type anything in that box. Talk maybe isn't the best word in. And if I hit that button, it creates my table of contents. So you probably didn't see much happen there because it deleted it and reinserted it. Let me delete it myself. Let's get rid of that. And hit that button again. Comes back. So we have a macro that's creating our table of contents. Doesn't matter how many sheets there are, what they're called, the loop will handle that. And each one has a hyperlink. So it takes us to the appropriate sheet. Milan, and I'm on the Milan sheet. And that is a macro to automatically generate a table of contents in Excel.